Today I'm going to be talking about how the PCV valve works, how you can tell if yours needs to be replaced and how to replace it. The PCV valve works by using engine vacuum draw blow-by gases into the intake manifold for returning it back into the combustion chamber. It's almost like recycling. The PCV valve is a spring-loaded valve with a specific design to restrict the amount of air that is filtered from the crankcase into the intake manifold. At idle, high manifold vacuum pulls the plunger for minimum va vapor flow, so it keeps that down. During acceleration, intake manifold decreases. This allows the PCV valve to move in the center position for ma maximum airflow. So it stay like this. With the engine off, a spring pushes the valve against its seat, closing the valve. A backfire will also close the valve. To tell if your PCV valve has to be replaced, you can do a very easy test by unplugging it and shaking it with your hands. If you hear a rattling sound, then your valve is still working. But if you shake it and hear nothing, then your valve has to be replaced. As you can hear, this valve still works fine. There is also another test that you can do while the engine is running. You place your finger over the bottom of the PCV valve. There should be suction. If there is no suction, then your hose may be plugged. Just like this. If there is no suction, then your valve has to be replaced. Now I'm going to try to show you how to replace the valve. But the first step is you got to make sure you're pulling off the right valve. Once you have confirmed which valve you need to take off, there will be a hose that will be connected onto here and that you will have to remove before you can do anything. Now that you have the hose off the valve, you need to check that your new replacement PCV valve is exactly the same because if not it can cause a lot of problems. Next you are going to want to check all the hoses and make sure they are not clogged or cracked. Once you have done that, put the valve end into the hose, the hose that is connected to here, and then push the valve back into the valve cover, which would be right here. Then reconnect the hose and move any clamps back.